Armenia is creating a storm in a teacup. There is no aggression or invasion by Azerbaijan. Azerbaijani border forces have just taken up their positions on the border. Much of the Armenian-Azerbaijan border, alongside 20% of Azerbaijan's sovereign territory, was under Armenia's illegal UN and US-condemned occupation for 30 years. Last fall, Azerbaijan liberated its territories from the occupation and took control of its state border with Armenia. Due to difficult terrain and unfavorable weather conditions, some portions of the border were inaccessible. With the improvement of weather conditions, Azerbaijan has now deployed its border forces in those areas. All these measures are being taken within the international recognized borders of Azerbaijan, based on maps available to each of the sites that define the interstate border. Currently, negotiations are being conducted by border guards of both countries. For three decades, Armenia kept 20% of Azerbaijan's territory under its occupation and 1 million Azerbaijanis forcibly displaced. Nearly all occupied lands of Azerbaijan were razed to the ground. All Azerbaijani heritage was destroyed. Armenia tries to distract from its own bad behavior. Creating unnecessary tension, Armenia's ruling party also aims at strengthening of its domestic positions ahead of the upcoming parliamentary elections. As for some pro-Armenian uh, politicians in Europe and America, where was their outrage when Armenia was violating international law, committing all possible war crimes, massacres and ethnic cleansings, depriving one million Azerbaijani civilians from their basic rights, turning our mosques into pigsties and cowsheds? Where was their condemnation? Why were they silent all these years? They were not only silent about this outrageous violation, they were encouraging it uh, at the behest of the wealthy Armenian lobby. Is there no red line when it comes to campaign donations and pay-to-play politics? In a new social media age, this kind of moral duplicity and hypocrisy is getting harder and harder to conceal.